Gallagher, and thank you very much for the inviting me as a discussant for this particular session. So um, I think uh, one thing is very, very clear, that's uh, SDGs and the, uh, the climate actions or the Paris Agreement uh, targets in the coming as nationally determined contributions and national adaptation plan has clearly overlapped synergies that we tap into. And uh, we are clear where the links are. I think what we need to think about the, the next steps, how to go forward. Um, the next steps, I think there are a couple of uh, challenges that all the countries need to think of. One is the, the institutional mechanisms of implementing climate action and implementing SDGs need to have synergies. I think that's a bit of a challenge to the entire region because the implementation mechanisms are not perfectly overlap. So probably those are very country specific and country appropriate mechanisms, but I think that's very important. And on the other hand, the, how we can tap the synergies, there are two uh, advantages in the, the climate action, which can be absorbed into SDG implementation mechanism, where I see the financial mechanism of the, uh, the climate action, the Paris Agreement and UNFCCC, it has evolved to a level uh, much more than the SDG financing mechanism. So that's something we can learn, how we can finance as SDGs. So if we know how the, the climate change or the climate action can bring synergies to SDGs, probably the climate financing is an opportunity, an advantage. How to do that? Probably we need a bit of homework there. How we can tap into that climate finance and make sure that we build that synergy into SDGs. Uh, similarly, I think there's another challenge because the whatever said and done, the 2030 agenda is a common agenda. We have uh, different compartments of it, but we have reporting and compliance responsibilities separately for these mechanisms. We have a separate reporting mechanism for sustainable development goals and a separate reporting mechanism for the compliance mechanisms for um, Paris Agreement and the climate action. So I think this is a burden for uh, for developing countries. So probably we need to be up a homework how we can build synergies in monitoring, reporting, and verification as well. So at the moment, when we implement climate action, of course the climate change uh, monitoring happens in a separate stream, but it's not being reported on the SDGs and vice versa. So probably we all the countries need to do a bit of a homework again, how we can build back synergy, how we build the, the monitoring, reporting, and verification aspects of climate action and uh, the SDGs. I think these are a few points I wanted to highlight. And again, it's very clear that uh, climate action is going well beyond uh, SDG uh, 13. It's not just related to only one goal, but it cut across basically almost all the, uh, the SDGs. The links are clear but the financing, institutional mechanism, and the reporting of the compliance mechanisms need to be uh, written out a little bit more detail now so we can uh, tap into the synergies much better. So I'll just, from there, I'll be brief in my comments. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Mullah. Uh, of course, those uh, very, very uh, I want to say, the idea arousing uh, questions. So in fact, uh, it's, a, it's a very, very, very good point that you said that as many as, uh, all apps we have, we have many as the synergies we have because private financing is much established. So such money is can be directed to achieving the other stages. So it's a, it's a very, very good uh, point. So can we, now let me invite uh, our panelists to, to respond to what the uh, uh, discussion Mr. Pallawal uh, mentioned about the institutional mechanism, how to, uh, how, to tap, how, how to tap the synergies and the financing mechanisms. And also reporting and compliance management. Do you have any, any, anything to say right now? Okay. I can be loud and loud to be hard. <coughs> yeah. Uh, but climate finance is extremely important. As I have mentioned, we cannot afford to depend on external sources so much. We have to pay as negotiators because we are the victim and climate finance is our right, uh, not a charity as the ODA development assistance is. So we have to fight for. But at the same time, within the national, we have to devise fiscal framework, for example, Columbia based principle and beneficiary based principle. Uh, 
and that can be uh, done in a uh, revenue neutral way. For example, if you punish the uh, sin activities in the sense of uh, polluting, uh, in the sense of penalizing the harmful activities, and then at the end of the day, if you give rewards to those who do uh, uh, kind of follow uh, sustainable lifestyle, sustainable production, mm -hmm. then at the end of the day, the um, take home salary or the take home profit can be re revenue neutral. Uh, so this is a key instrument that we need to follow. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, so can we can take then some other questions as well from the audience so that we can respond, our panelists can respond. Uh, Um, so, anyone, anyone can hear me? Um, so, the question is, you mentioned about the sustainability aspect that is incorporated into the cabinet uh, decision, right? What does that entail? What does the ministry have to do to be part of this and achieve whatever that's required? Alright, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, of course, uh, Moshita. Uh, in fact, uh, so this is we can be the, the leader in that sense, the Sulanta, we can be the leader in, 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 the, in the, the practical sense how we can really achieve SDGs uh, in, in the country. Now, uh, see, um, of course, we are talking much, uh, we are talking much, we are developing plans, and then, then what happens finally is the, the doing with the business as usual. We are not moving out of here. Now, here, we are going out of it. And we are, we are moving out of the business as usual scenario. And uh, so right now we have different missions, have different different missions. For example, housing, housing for example, is a housing mission, uh, housing mission, a mission of uh, building houses, the water mission, uh, the water sector development. But finally, so we have the, the integration part comes. Because they, are, they are working in different different, different, different uh, spheres, different, different agendas. Now, we have to understand we are doing everything for the benefit of public, so we should have one mission, for example, in one team, different members are going to have different, different uh, agendas. So that team is not going to be. So this uh, everybody has to be. So the first thing that the ministries have to do is every ministry <coughs> has to have one common mission that is a sustainably developed Sri Lanka. Hereafter, every ministry has have, have one mission. Right? And then uh, different missions. So the ministries, now of course we, we are going to, each and every ministry, we, we just need three more workshops to cover the entire country public sector, so say, right? Public sector. Now every every department, every government department, every ministry has to develop their public service delivery strategies, mainstreaming SDGs into that one. So hereafter, every government institution will have a, a uniform format for the for the planning and the development strategies. And then that is the whole of the approach. Thereafter every every ministry and department will have to identify they are projects and programs. And first of all, to be to be implemented to private sector, to be implemented to private public partnership, to be implemented to the civil society, and to be implemented by the national body. So this is the, the next part that is coming up. So here, what we are going finally is to have a whole of society approach for the development. Right? So this will be finally, a stage is mainstream action plan is going on with a 10 year horizon uh, 2030. <coughs> And it, uh, uh, there will be a, the national policy of the government, and this is this is what is what is happening. The institutional mechanism that we are developing right now is that we have the apex body as sustainable development council, but the different ministries will take the leadership in that sense. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Legal framework is something different than kind of an institution. We have uh, all of South Asian governments uh, structured along the minister and, and departments, ministries and departments. So each ministry, as the DG has mentioned, each ministry has a vision. Also in Bangladesh, uh, each of the ministries have been, has developed uh, the SDG action plan. Okay, but these ministries are kind of sometimes work in silos. Coordination is a serious problem, not just in Bangladesh, but in all developing countries. That is why 
if an overarching uh, body is there as the coordinator, led by a senior person, respected by the secretaries of all these ministries, if he calls a meeting, then everybody should respond. That helps. That is why Bangladesh government has established uh, this body uh, led by the former cabinet secretary. Cabinet secretary, you know, is the secretary of all secretaries. Bosses of all bosses are secretaries. That is why. That is important, I think. And that um, uh, body has developed set of indicators. UN system now recommends 232 indicators for monitoring all the SDGs. But uh, in Bangladesh, we have a serious data gap and an analysis has been done. We have raised up to 70 indicators uh, to monitor this, but uh, still a lot of uh, a lot of way to go. And this office can you know, develop and monitor. We have a framework for monitoring also. Thank you. Is that only a monitoring body? Or I mean, you are uh, using the planning part as well? No. That office is not directly involved in planning. That office is involved in guidance, oversight, and monitoring ah, based on uh, specific indicators ah. along all ministries. Ah. So it's really a bit different for Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, we have the, the Sustainable Development Act. So we have the Sustainable and, and that one. Uh, the Sustainable Development Council was established. And the chairman of that council is the secretary to the president. And that is uh, responsible uh, for the, the, the planning, the implementation, monitoring the supervision, everything. But it doesn't mean that it's going to do everything. But really, the, 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 the guidance part. Now, see, we are facilitating all these things, for example, right now. Uh, and the provincial comes in as well. So it's not only the, the government ministries will have uh, uh, the same vision. The provincial councils will have, again, the same vision. That is uh, a sustainable development, for example, sustainable development Western province for a sustainable development Sri Lanka. That is the, the provincial uh, provincial uh, vision as well, right? So this is uh, this is the kind, kind of what you said, as you said, yes. uh, a top body. There should be one one apex body to coordinate, uh, to, to do the coordination uh, across the ministries. Otherwise, they will act in silos. Yeah, 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 I can agree. I understand. So, yes, right. Yeah, so many, the combining the board, the Mr. Pravin, you mentioned that and, uh, in Nepal you have the climate change, uh, which is the local plan, yeah, not the national plan. And Professor mentioned that you have a separate project line for the climate change. And now the, I'm wondering how the, especially the local development plan, what would be the most efficiency and whether you have the budget line for the local level or whether you have the, some statutory, uh, some kind of the system or an approach to have the local adaptation plan. That's the main question. Well, uh, in terms of a, a local adaptation plan, what uh, uh, what the government did is that it, it has aligned the plan with the uh, annual development plan of the local governments. So there, is, there, there are some, uh, the budget that uh, the, each municipality or the or the village uh, received as a part of the annual government uh, budget. A part of that budget will be a part of the local adaptation plan to finance the local adaptation plan. And there are top ups from the projects uh, uh, from the different organizations who have been working on the uh, on, on that particular area. So that means the financing of the local plan has been there. Uh, in terms of, uh, but since Nepal, after 2015 constitutions, the Nepal administrative structures had changed. We have moved to the central system to the federal uh, systems, and uh, recently the current uh, modality of uh, local adaptation plans are being revised uh, so that it is more aligned with the current modalities uh, uh, that was provided by the uh, by the new constitutions uh, by, by the new constitutions. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Because when I asked this question in Sri Lanka, we have a different type of the government structures. Mm -hmm. At the local authority level, we do not have the, any special budget line for a kind of change or a deal. Whatever that we do, because we have the local authority level only the five standing committee. Mm -hmm. And apart from that standing committee subjects, we can't have that. Okay. That's why I want to know what we the most of the budget. In, in, uh, in, uh, just one minute. Uh, in terms of local budgeting, so with the new constitution, with the new constitutions, now we have 
uh, even the local government is not uh, what do you call is uh, is not uh, uh, what the government has done is that there are six sectors that government has provided for the east local governments to uh, uh, consider while developing their local budgets and the plans right and one of the sectors is the disaster and environment there are other sectors like social development economic development structural development and one of the six sectors among the six sectors one is the environment and the disaster so so that's the guideline from the sector of the platform that we're talking about just one more one more uh, clarification from this uh, now you said the we have a we have a target of having the carbon dioxide emissions, carbon dioxide emissions, and then they receive the of course in this just we uh, like this key.